you guys so let's do a get ready with me trying a new stuff some of these products that i'm gonna be trying in your they're not technically new in the market but they're new to me i'm gonna be trying them for the very first time and there are things that are new for me there are things like new I don't know like I have a bunch of complexion stuff that I want to try um, so what I have after this is a YouTube video that I want to film so I'm just gonna do complexion now on stories and then I'm going out so yeah let's do this let's do this quick so I'm gonna do this all on time like I have an hour and a half so I have like half an hour here an hour for my YouTube and then whoosh. so let's start Everyone I know is talking about this brand, it is my Ole Henriksen. So this is a skincare brand that is so popular in the Middle East. For, since it's so popular, I was like, let me order some and try it out. For, um, the C, kind of like vitamin C range, like brightening, because my face is so dull these days, like super bad, I feel like my skin is so dull, like look at me, I'm, I look dead. For, I want something that could add um, the radiance, not that I wish, but I'm healthy and I want to also target fine lines. So I ordered the range of vitamin C, which is uh, skincare, I mean moisturizer, uh, eye cream, and a primer. So the moisturizer is a sea rush brightening gel cream. We have to add in the other team, we target the fine lines and wrinkles with three sources of vitamin C and rose of winter extract. So, that's all. Hello, Fion. I think like everything is written on the packaging, but so it's easy to know what it's about. And then I have the eye cream. It's called Banana Bright Eye Cream. So this is a vitamin C, vitamin C, vitamin C, and collagen boosted um, cream. So the most important thing is that I'm going to add a little bit of 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 a little bit so let me start with the skincare. I will conclude products in the end. Like, I think I'm just gonna apply a little bit, just a tiny bit. Let's see, give it a bit. I have nothing negative to say. My skin feels so smooth and so hydrated. It really feels really good on the skin. Um, now let's try the eye cream. So I heard that this has a pigment, like a yellowish kind of banana pigment. So let's see how this feels. Can you see the brightening now, Oh my impressed, guys. Okay, so as you can see, I can see a little bit of brightness but I'm not talking about the skin no, there's nothing to do with skin in this moment but I think it has like a kind of like what I said light pigmentation that kind of adds some light that I said and like it reflects so I really really like this my skin feels amazing um, so yeah, I'm gonna be trying this for the next week like on a daily basis to show how my skin will feel uh, but now I'm gonna move on to the primer which is also Apparently, it's a thing. So this is Banana Bright Face Primer. I'm going to do... Okay, I think I'm going to do two pumps of this. So it says that instantly illuminates and it It hydrates and improves the foundation where all day with vitamin C time. So we're going to the foundation to get in hard. Um, we're going to give it a little bit of light. Let's see how it will look under the foundation. But yeah, it feels so smooth. It feels amazing. Remember this foundation, the Smashbox Studio Skin Full Coverage. So this is what I've done with in the US and then now it's available in the Middle East. I tried it the first time on the stories like a month ago. I wasn't crazy about it, but I'm hearing amazing reviews. So I want to try it, like I get to apply it to the I'm going to use just a beauty blender and nothing else. Because I want to think that it will be a brush. So the thing is about this foundation is that it's absolutely full coverage and it lasts all day, all night. And that's what I need right now. So I'm going to mix these two shades, 2.35 or 1.05. 
هاد الاثنين الجولدن شيدز اللي لقيتهم بالكولكشن تو شيدز تو هوبفلي جيت ماين وهم وزون بي ادام بيوتي بلندر ليتس سي هاو ذس ويل ورك اوت As you can see, it's absolutely full coverage. Photoshop. I get the hype on this foundation. It's a really amazing foundation. I had the coverage, I had how, like, I look absolutely Photoshop. Best, the only thing is, you need to be very quick in time to all be the beauty blender. So just do one side, finish the side, and then move on to the other side. You have to be so quick because once it dries on your skin, nothing can move this foundation. Finally, let's move on to concealer. I don't have anything new. But I think I'm going to use concealer now. So I'm just going to use same old, same old. Yeah. With the MAC um, Studio Fix 24 Hour Smooth Wear Concealer because this is one of my top five concealers. I absolutely love this one. I'm almost done with this one. And I use NC30, and then when I finish to zero, I add NC20 because to hide by using the EMZ on Zoom. I don't know why. I never have dark circles, but this week my dark circles are yani crazy. Fire. To add NC20, I like how it looks. So yeah, now I'm not gonna set this foundation with powder because I don't think it can handle powder. I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. And I'm gonna do my brows. Hastamil from Hourglass, the Arch Brow Sculpting Pencil in Dark Brunette. So I'm just gonna fill in the faragat, and I'm already, alhamdulillah, I'm So I'm just gonna fill in how the faragat is going to fall. I don't realize how thick my brows are until I fill them in. And ma, بعد بزيادة ما برسم فوق حويج بقى just fill in the فراغات and then I look in the mirror like I'm bad and I'm like damn, what is this? But anyway, I don't mind them to be honest. I like them thick. Like I like them make it looking crazy. But yeah, so let's just start them then. Anyway, I'm here with Natasha Denona, the tan bronze and glow palette. So this is the beautiful palette. So now Natasha Denona is available in Sephora Middle East, which is so exciting. And we have here and a bronzer, a powder highlighter, fan honey, a creamy highlighter, and this is like kind of a buttery highlighter. So it's powder, but it has this buttery texture. Be a little bit dark. I'm just gonna use the bronzer because I want to use the highlight in my YouTube video. So, and then I start kind of bronzing. and can handle anything which is amazing yeah it's blending so smoothly and nicely like look I'm gonna be using this beautiful palette from Kiko really I unboxed it from the magic holiday collection so I'm taking the matte shade Such a nice blush. And I'm gonna take their bronzer because it's a little bit lighter than what I have on. And the same big brush and just kind of buff everything. Here you go guys, that's it for my get ready with me. So the rest I'm gonna leave it for YouTube. Best. Um, so what I think about the cream, the primer, everything looks amazing. Minus below my skin. Foundation is amazing. The only thing is if you like your skin to look like you have nothing on it, this is not your this is not the foundation for you. If you like full coverage to look Photoshop, then you will love this foundation. And when people are gonna look at me now, they're not gonna be like, oh she has nothing on. No, what I know I have foundation on. But it doesn't look thick, it doesn't look cakey, it just it's beautiful. But I look like I obviously have something on. My no second skin. For yeah, the rest, um, these are like the new stuff that I have. The bronzer is beautiful. 
I cannot wait to try like the highlighter, the creamy highlighter, but I don't think anything creamy would go on this kind of foundation. So when you have a full coverage thick foundation that kind of turns into powder, stay away from creamy products on top because you can't Um So yeah, that's it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me go and finish the rest of the work I have and I'm so late and I need to run as usual. Like when wasn't I late? When? <laughs>